Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. I could definitely have breakfast, I reckon. It is a bit fresh today, doll. Thanks, darling. That's okay. <laughs> hey, where do you think kangaroos sleep? Wow, the Sultana ratio today is so much better than yesterday, I must say. Mm -hmm. Good morning and Good morning. welcome. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to episode one of a three part vlog series of mine and one of my best friends in the whole wide world, Ellen. Hi. Yeah, basically, this is going to be a series all about our road trip in a camper van around New South Wales here in Australia. We are currently on the south coast of New South Wales, so we are south of Sydney. And this morning, we woke up in a really cute, small coastal town called Bendelong, and that is where we spent the night last night. It was really, really cute, but now we are on the road this morning. We are anticipating a day of beach hopping and I am really excited to show you all of the beautiful spots along the New South Wales coast. It is definitely an underrated coast in Australia, in my opinion. Would you agree? So far, I've just been blown away. Yes. Anyway, yes, we are on the road right now and our first stop for the day is going to be in the coastal town of Ala Dulla. Ala Dulla. <laughs> I feel so robotic saying that. Ala Dulla. <laughs> So something that we have definitely noticed since traveling New South Wales so far is that there are so many rock pools and so many like rock swimming pools if that makes any sense at all. Along the way I reckon we've seen at least five so far and we have just stopped at Ulladulla and they seem to have one here as well. The tide is pretty high right now but I have a feeling that when this tide is low it makes for the ideal swimming spot. So today ended up being a very big day of driving and it was really, really nice because we just cruised along the coastline of New South Wales and we were just taking it all in essentially and listening to music that we love. And I think that that's one of my favorite parts of a road trip is the actual being on the road part. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. What's 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 crackalackin'? What's crackalackin'? What's the hip and happening? I was just saying how we have been on the road most of the day, mm -hmm. and that's as far as I got. Oh, sick. So I came in at just the right time. You came in at the perfect time, doll. Great. I was just doing some um, kangaroo watching on my way back. Oh, there are so many kangaroos where we are staying right now, and that's what I need to get to because Ooh, too close we... To our <laughs> Far too close. <laughs> Respect boundaries. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> this afternoon we checked into this beautiful beautiful campsite caravan park and it is already one of the best places I have ever stayed in my entire life for context we are looking at the ocean right now like looking at the ocean right now like it's it's mm -hmm. right there how can you not want to relax and look at that how can you not want to relax and look at that doll honestly anyway the sun is starting to set right now and we are going to get into making dinner mm. one of the best things that we've been enjoying so much about being on the road is making really really yummy hearty dinners and for dinner tonight we're going to make pesto pasta mm. with sun-dried tomatoes cherry tomatoes and lots of kale Oh, lots of kale, which you know mm. is going to dwindle down to no kale once we heat About it up. About three leaves in total, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> she is beauty. She is grace. Look at that amazing face. Here she comes. Wow. Get a load of that. It's actually so incredible. I cannot believe we're going to just listen to the ocean as we fall asleep tonight. Mm. It's so incredible. We're so lucky. We are. Cheers, my darling. <laughs> Okay, so we have just cruised through Naruma down the south coast. It was such a beautiful drive and we have landed in a place called Mystery Bay. We wanted to find a really nice place to be able to pull up and just chill for the afternoon and I think we have found it. There are just so many little tiny towns along the New South Wales coast that have super quiet beaches that are so beautiful. They're super untouched. The water is so crystal blue and the sand is so, so nice. Anyway, it's really, really beautiful. But something I realized that I haven't done yet since we even got this van is show you a little tour of the van that we are staying in. So we hired this camper van from Sydney and we hired it through Camplify, which to me kind of seems like an Airbnb for camper vans and caravans and stuff like that. Uh, we found the process to be super, super easy and great. And the van is absolutely perfect. So this is the beautiful van that we are traveling in at the moment. We have the usual front seats <laughs> that you have in a van. This one has three seats as well. So when we stayed with friends in Sydney, we were able to take one of them in the van with us. Then we move into the back and Oh my goodness, it's a little bit of a mess right now. It's actually been way messier to be honest. This is tidy in comparison to how it has been. But we have this beautiful curtain which goes across. And once we're in here, I can't stand up, but essentially over here we have like beanies and hats, pantry staples, our cereal we've been having for breakfast. We have some water. We also have just some pepper, salt, oil, staples and that kind of thing here. It's really cool because down here we have a gas cooker and gas bottle that we can take out and cook with during the evenings. In here we have like a bunch of cutlery and stuff. It's super, super well done. We're also just keeping some charges and things like that in there as well. And then this is an esky. So we've been refilling it with ice about every three days to keep some stuff nice and cool because we're trying to do a lot of cooking then yeah like I said we've got a little bit of a mess happening over here this is where we're hanging our swimmers to keep them dry then over here we have the bed with this beautiful beautiful view I am obsessed with this setup actually at the moment this rug by the way I brought with me it is by Salty Aura I have two of them and I absolutely love them underneath the bed we have the first drawer which we put clothes in and the second drawer down there has pots and pans and things like that to cook with so yeah pretty pretty simple in here but so beautiful and the fit out has been so well done we love it so much <laughs> i don't know 
what to do. <laughs> Actually, I'm reading. It's not just for the camera. No, it's not just for the camera. <laughs> I just got to a really good part, so I'm kind of invested. That's so fun. I'll vlog around you, doll. No worries. So we also have a camping table and chairs, which Ellen is enjoying very much so right now. And as you can see, underneath the bed that we sleep in, there's a bunch of storage as well. Some of you may already know this, but on my long list of goals, one of them is actually to get my own camper van and potentially renovate it myself and do a bunch of traveling around Australia. And this trip has definitely been one of those things where I was like, let's see if I enjoy it and if it's something that I feel like I could do more of and that I still really want to do. And spoiler alert, I still really want to do it. Traveling in this so far has just been such a fun and divine experience and it definitely like makes me realize how the simple things like really yummy food and being in nature are things that make me feel really really good so yeah that's the van we are gonna set up and chill here for the afternoon I'm really really excited to just like completely relax we're gonna play some board games we're gonna make ourselves some lunch and it's gonna be a divine afternoon whilst alan and i play a couple of games of bananagrams i want to say a big thank you to my beautiful friends at skillshare for working with me on today's video if you've never heard of skillshare before well it is an online learning community that has thousands of online classes for you to learn new things explore your creativity and create new hobbies i've been using and loving skillshare for well over a year now but recently i've been using it a lot to learn more about photography this is an area of creativity i'm really trying to learn more about at the moment and to explore more as well so there's this one class in particular that I have been loving recently. It is called Travel Photography, Seeing, Shooting and Editing. It's a class by Dan Rubin and I'm loving it so much because, well, I'm traveling at the moment and I am really trying to learn more about travel photography as opposed to the usual food photography that I do. As well as that, over the past year or so, I have loved learning about video editing, food photography, and graphic design, just to name a few. Uh, so if you're interested in learning about any of those things, I highly recommend using Skillshare. I also love the way the classes are short, but they've been packed full of info. And I also love the way Skillshare has been curated specifically for learning. So that means there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. Skillshare is less than $10 per month on an annual subscription, but the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description box will receive a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can get started and start exploring your creativity. Make sure to let me know if you do try out Skillshare and what classes are your favorites. And thank you again to my friends at Skillshare for working with me on this vlog. Now let's get back to me beating Ellen at Bananagrams. Good job, honey. Good morning and happy Sunday. It is, I would say, almost 6.30 a.m. right now, and we are on a sunrise mission this morning. There is this beautiful spot called the Bermagui Blue Pool on the south coast of New South Wales that I have been wanting to see since the last time I saw it about six or seven years ago I think and today we're having a bit of a sunrise mission there it is pretty cold I think it's like 12 degrees this morning but we are so stoked to be there and I'm interested to see if I'm gonna end up getting in for a swim or not Ellen is doubting me no no I would never say that I would never say that it's just a bit fresh this morning and I'm just unsure of whether you will commit but I think this comes from a place of the fact that I don't even swim at the Gold Coast in winter so why would I swim when it's so much colder but you know when you're on vacay and you just feel like you want to do things more that's the way I'm feeling at the moment anyway I'm excited to see the sunrise it is looking like it's gonna be a bit of a gloomy sunrise this morning but I'm glad we're up and about early regardless and today is going to be a great day
Okay, this has definitely got to be one of the best sunrises I have seen so in a very long time. The sun is like perfectly reflecting off of the pool and this is just like a completely magical spot. I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> It is such an incredibly, incredibly beautiful morning here in Bermagui this morning. We have just parked up and we are looking at this beautiful view whilst we tidy up our van a little bit. But then we've decided we are actually gonna go out for breakfast. We've been doing a lot of cooking when we've been at campsites and things like that. But whilst we were in Bermagui, we had a look online and it turns out that there is a vegetarian cafe here with heaps of vegan options. So whilst we're here, we thought we may as well treat ourselves to a little go out for breakfast moment which is exactly what we are going to do i also haven't had iced cacao or avocado on toast for almost a week so i felt like it just had to happen in some capacity today you know <sighs> she figured it out okay vlog i just need to take a minute to fix this angle first of all it's been far too many days since I've had an avocado and Vegemite not necessarily not necessarily together but I'm feeling like if I don't have some toast with Vegemite or an avocado soon Amanda's gonna see a side of me that she's simply not prepared for so that's my little interlude um, she'll probably be back from the bathroom soon, so I'll leave her to find this clip later. missing hot chocolates and iced chocolates so much on the road and as well as that the hot chocolate I had from this cafe was so good that I had to order myself another one for the road. So this morning we are continuing to head south down the Sapphire Coast of New South Wales. This is an area that I've spent a lot of time in in my life and I'm really excited to be showing Ellen around and just like taking it all in. Today we have almost a two hour drive south and along the way we're just going to stop in some little coastal towns and have a stroll around and just enjoy the day. But yeah overall having an amazing time. If this inspires you to go and see New South Wales when you can I highly recommend doing so. It's a really beautiful part of Australia. Lots of untouched beaches and cute little coastal towns and yeah. It's been beautiful. Anyway, Ellen's literally about to jump in the car right now. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna get on the road. We're going oh, yeah. to head south and it's going to be a beautiful end to this beautiful vlog. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 